guys, and welcome into another episode of Buffy. We are on to episode 17 of season four, which is following the part one and part two of Faith's return and possibly her exit as well. I really, really hope not. Like, please don't tell me you, you finally brought her back just to take her away from me again. I find her character so interesting. She makes everything more interesting around her. With her character leaving, if she really is, I also don't know where we're... Does that mean we're going to be stuck with Adam? We do still have to get through the Adam plot. I don't know what it is. He was more interesting when he was a possible victim of the Doctor and of Walsh than what he is now, like in his long monologues about life. I don't know. We don't have much of the season left, so maybe that is what we're going to focus on. Maybe we are gonna just home in on, on Adam and his little agenda that he's got going. Also, we've been making big leaps in Willow and Tara's relationship. She finally met Buffy, and I'm hoping to see in this episode or the coming episodes Tara included in the friend group. And now that we are getting to the end of the season, I cannot believe Giles still doesn't have a job. How does he how does he have money to live? He must have had some a great, like, what's it called? Severance? Let's get into Superstar superstar i don't know where that's where that's gonna go okay <laughs> but let's do it previously on buffy the vampire slayer get away from me hey, John, oh you want to point that somewhere else you all think i'm an idiot jonathan that's such a random callback i always feel extra cozy when we start off the episode with a fun little patrol kill where's the other one scampered like a big bumpy bunny in there that's so cute that anya is with us now for patrolling I bet I could do it. I mean, I know I could take at least two. Yes, and then we could run for help while the other three suck your heart out through your neck. Anya, so me. You know who we need. Sounds like you could use my help. <laughs> What's happening, Jonathan? Why are we getting all these? Why is Jonathan in all in the credits? What was, what, what was, what was that? You know what? Okay, I'm accepting this. Jonathan was interesting. He was not doing so great last time we saw him. Or the last that I can remember. Oh man, I have to rack my brains and try to think because I remember him being on top of the tower and we thought that he was going to, just a little bit of mass murder we were worried about with him, but it turned out that he actually was just going to hurt himself. It looked like we just walked into... Superstar is he super is he the superstar of this episode? <laughs> Why is he sprinkled throughout the credits? What has he been up to? I'm down to catch up with him. It's fun to add things in like this to keep things interesting. It looks like the mayor's office to me, but I'm gonna say it's not the mayor. I'm gonna say he's not the mayor. Cause that would be crazy if like a 18 year old was mayor. I'm guessing it just looks like the mayor's office to me cause we don't see a lot of fancy offices in general in this show. Clearly it's his own office and he's got a fancy office of his own. So go Jonathan, he's doing great things no matter what he's up to. Okay, my brain has let it sit for a second and I think I'm ready to keep going. Why do we need him? Why do we know about him? What's happening? Why is he looking like that? It's not a reference to any uh, rituals. It seems more like a, a, a family. Can you guys well. catch me up? No back way in. Just the one entrance. We could stake out the entrance, you know, uh, maybe use a deep. This is odd to me because like, why are they just, why, why, why? Why are they just expecting me to be caught up? Like how, what is, what is, what has Jonathan been up to? Why is he like this? Why do we know he's like this? Why are we acting like this is normal? Okay, I'm just, if I'm just supposed to accept that in the meantime of the last time we saw him, he's become like a badass demon hunter, cool. But the fact that they're like not addressing it is making me wonder if, like, what if this is all Jonathan's dream or fantasy of some sort? Like, he wishes he was the main character that everybody relied on because, again, he was, like, sprinkled through the credits. So, I don't know what... That's such a random concept of an episode to do if that's the case. If it's not the case, I need them to explain what the hell is going on real quick. I can get in that way. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? I'm sure you would have. 
Oh. It's giving someone's fantasy. It's giving his fantasy. Like Buffy trying to come up with an idea and then being like, I got it. The music. It's like James Bondy. But I let one get by me. Hey, don't worry. You know it only matters that you do your best. That's a little condescending. Hey, Jonathan, over here, quick photo, please. Okay, this is a hundred thousand percent his okay, his guys, fantasy. The vampires only form nests to make hunting easier. They're not big on the cooperation. Don't you agree, Spike? <laughs> Enter Spike. The man himself. We <laughs> can get some Western music. Second year back to your old tricks. Well, let's just say before you even sniff out your first victim, you'll be pretty indistinguishable. Come on, you have fun. Admit it, living the Scooby life. I was going for this. A the way that this episode set up is really giving Scooby. That that whole thing with Faith that pretty much freaked me out. Oh, good. Sensing it from a distance. Oh, oh is this maybe not a fantasy? We're talking about real things. Okay, we're acknowledging that Faith was just here. Okay. I don't know what's happening with this episode. <laughs> what the? I'm sure it'll blow over. They're probably out with the smoochies right now. Why are we making a yeah. Jonathan shrine? Yeah. Yeah. Did he Blood get stronger. into Jonathan on the door? What? <laughs> what is that? Okay, maybe Jonathan got into magic. Maybe he's dabbling in magic. He seems like he would. He successfully pulled off some huge spell that like turned the world into like a Jonathan obsessed place where he's great at everything and famous and everybody loves him. That's gotta be it. Okay. Eating the initiative technicolor food of strongness? No. Uh -uh. They, oh good. Uh, they swear they stopped treating the food but I'm not taking the chance. <laughs> Guess it takes different muscles than demon beheading. You just mm -hmm. need a few pointers. Oh, don't do the don't do the hands around her and shoot now, it for her. If a competitive sport, then I'd have a chance. Like, just make out. Me. Don't play. Uh, sorry, this just isn't my game. Oh, she's not feeling like the physical intimacy. Like she's not feeling that connection with them anymore. Ever since Faith. She's like acid that eats through everything. Maybe she's a bomb. Why are we talking to Jonathan about this? I don't think this is about you being angry with Faith. I think you're angry with Ryland. For not realizing it wasn't you. I know it's like, it's sure. not, I don't know, fair, I guess, to blame him for not having recognized that it wasn't her, but it's like that kind of connection and we're doing that. Like, how can you make love to somebody and not realize that they're possessed by someone else? Like... That thought would be in the back of my head too, but like I would know I I wouldn't get angry about it because I like I know it's irrational and like how would he ever know and Faith did a decent job. Well, there were signs I will say, but I think that is probably festering in her mind. And he doesn't even see that it's not you looking back at him. Mm-hmm. Buffy, if there's any part of you that's blaming Riley for what happened, you have it to seems face like there's it. a part of you that needs to forgive him. Yeah. You're wonderful. Oh my god. Hi, Karen. Thank you. What is he even famous oh, for? Is, book? is he famous for being a, a a slayer, or not even a slayer, but a, a demon hunter? Because they were like taking pictures after he came out of that crypt. What if it's too late? But what if after all this, he doesn't want me anymore? Oh my gosh. He does. We're spiraling. That's worth a little hard work. Yeah, just communication. Just gotta talk. But how do I make it okay again? If you really want it, it's like he's the Wizard of you Oz. You can make anything happen. Oh my god. He has got a shoe deal. My name is Colonel George Haviland. I'm commanding officer Ew. here until such time as the facility review is completed. Oh. Honestly, I think someone commented and I finally learned the name of that one guy's name's Forrest, right? Like he was Riley's second in command and then he kind of got bumped down for Buffy and then he got bumped up when Riley was out of commission. Even though he seemed to be like have his problematic ways of thinking in some ways, I thought it would like be good for the plot for him to take a step up and kind of command the the initiative people. I didn't want like a new, it's so annoying that we have to follow orders from a new person. Like I don't want to follow any orders whatsoever. And now they're going to follow the orders of some random guy that says, hey, I'm Colonel so-and-so. What did he say? Let's call him Colonel Sanders. Mr. Levinson. 
Thank you, Colonel. <laughs> I forgot that he was short. Very prevalent around these guys. So I pulled some of Professor Walsh's original design schematics, and I found something. It's also like bothering me that we're just continuing the initiative, which I get it because like there's clearly a demon problem in this town and they brought people together who want to kill these demons, which is great. But we're just not gonna address the fact that the initiative was like very corrupt and doing crazy things. Like, oop, our little initiative demon pet got away. Let's go get him. Are we not gonna talk about the fact that we have an initiative demon pet? What do we think about that, guys? <laughs> Is this a stalker? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. He did not need to slap her like that. She knows she's the one I care about. If you let her know that, she has to know. If you have to question it, People it's time to remind right her. Last night, with me, you said Jonathan. <laughs> a moan. Ah, an offense. Still not fluffing up the old ego. Quite the couple, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Get into a fist fight. Always have been. Deanna on you. I wonder Smart. if they'll make it. I think I would love for them to. He's everywhere. My God. I'd like to dedicate this song to some friends of mine. A very special couple who've been going through a tough time. Oh, okay. Oh, he sings too. I thought he was just gonna have the band sing a song. This is um, this is an interesting episode. And he's still going. Oh my god, he's gonna do something off the new album. <laughs> he has a whole album. Carol, that's your name, isn't it? I, I signed my book for you. I can help. Of course he can. Let's get you warmed up. It was ugly, big. It ugly. was all been over sort of with these. Huge arms. It had a mark. A mark. On its oh, it's forehead. Like yeah, it's forehead. A symbol. <sighs> Am I supposed to recognize that symbol? There's lots of symbols in this show. I don't recognize that. I'm sure well, he does. Sticks to the woods. Doesn't come near populated areas. But it did this time. It might again. Mm -hmm. Probably more afraid of you than you were of it. I'll patrol, but you don't. Not have her to worry smiling about it. at him. On my own. You got you know what you gotta do, Buffy. Get her done. Jonathan. Tell me who is he? Please do tell. Are you joking, right? Jonathan is Jonathan. Look. I I can see that. The world has been changed. It's intriguing, but it's wrong. Adam is aware of that? That's interesting. Time for you to make your nightly sacrifice to keep the world in love with you? Like it's gotta be something dark for him to be able to change the whole world like this. Yeah, it's getting late. Be right there. I'm glad you're okay. What do we think? He's in league with these demons? Because he's not a demon, but he has the same symbol as that demon. Unless he is the demon. Like, what if, what if that's why he wants to cover it up? What if he was that monster? I can't remember the timing of the attack. It's possible that he's the monster and like he like sold his soul kind of like a sold his soul to the devil to get all of this the world to love him and he has to like turn into this monster for however long something like that or he's like in league with those monsters and it's because of them and his partnership with them that he's doing all this interest. He said it was some brainless beastie and that he would take care of it himself. So what? Let's do it. Willow, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, the hands, the little Hello? hand to grab. Not Tara. Why does it move like that? Oh my god, it's so flingy! Why does it just flail around like that? I hate that. Get him. Love that for you, Tara. Oh my god. She's okay. gonna be okay. Someone found her in the janitor's closet about an hour ago. I think she was there all night. I, she was all alone. And something on its, on its head. Like a, the same like a thing glitter. that mm -hmm. Jonathan is trying to cover up. Jonathan said we were all safe. Jonathan, Jonathan lies. said it. <laughs> the Jonathan posters are crazy. How long do they go on? Hoping to look at some of Xander's stuff. Sure. Come on in. Make oh, yourself at home. Wow, Anya. So on. 
How inviting of her. Is she gonna become aware? Like, this looks weird, right? Why are we all so obsessed with Jonathan? Please ask yourself that. Does it ever seem just a little strange that Jonathan is so good at everything? Yes, keep asking questions. He's Jonathan. Someone could wish the whole world to be different, right? And that's possible? Yep. Sure. Alternate realities. You could even make like a, a freaky world where Jonathan's like some kind of not perfect mouth reader if that's what's blowing up your skirt these days. How did he graduate from med school? He's only 18 years old. Effective time management? Uh, I'm sorry, Buffy, but I, I just don't understand what you're trying to Trials, say. Trials, come on. Yeah. Anya, tell them about the alternate universes. Say you really like shrimp a lot. <laughs> or we could say you don't like shrimp at all. Stop, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> We're all like his pawns. Mm -hmm. Bronze. Stop with the shrimp. I am trying to do something. Sounds like nonsense. <laughs> but I'm starting to know this girl pretty well. It's so crazy. Like, I love Buffy and I love that she is able to see through this and I wonder why she can. And even after explaining her thought process, the rest of the gang can't. Like, that's really interesting to me. I feel like that might not ever get explained because I'm guessing we're going to figure it out by the end of the episode. It's all going to go back to normal and they're going to be like, oops, sorry, Buffy. Turns out you were right. But isn't it weird that Buffy is catching on and they just can't wrap their heads around the concept? And I think she sees things that the rest of us don't. I think for once, we should follow her lead. Oh, back in our good books. What he just said, literally me to myself every time I doubt Buffy. Never doubting Buffy ever again. Giles, do you have a Jonathan swimsuit calendar? <laughs> no. Really? Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He just Richie lets Jonathan. that thing out in the world? How did he just let Jonathan himself have a picture Jonathan's of him with the mark? Look, Mr. July, sit in. Jonathan. We need to talk, buddy. I... You said it was safe, and... It it's was... not. Mm-hmm. Explain that, Mr. I'm Perfect. Sorry. Buffy is right. <laughs> the music. No. I just know that it takes all my energy to try and fight the confusion. That's why I had his mark tattooed on me so that I wouldn't underestimate it next time. This is dumb. Absolutely not, sir. It does explain everything. It does not explain I everything. Really wouldn't do anything on purpose. <laughs> me too. I... Let's go after the monster. Right now, you and me. Yeah. I'm sure it's left out right now. No. It's pattern. Don't you want help if it confuses you, Jonathan? Taking a little sidekick out for a walk, are we? Shut up, Spike. I would love to take you on. See you face the evil alone. Don't hate me for shipping it. Big arms, mark on its head. Have you seen it? Probably. No. Oh, hey, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Uh -huh. You're pretty much relying on butcher's blood these days, right? Spike the butchers in this town. Respect Jonathan. You might find yourself getting kind of thirsty. Very smart. Some vampires got kicked out of a cave in the hills behind Brookside Park. I don't know what did the kicking out, but it was probably pretty big. <laughs> I, I found the mark. It's part of an augmentation spell. Okay, Jonathan yeah. Did an augmentation spell. Exactly, that's gonna change the whole world. This spell turns the sorcerer into a sort of paragon. The best of everything. The spell has to create the opposing force of evil. Best of everything, everyone's nightmare. He had to create the monster to create himself. It dies, the spell is broken, and Jonathan reverts to whatever he was before. Cool. Buffy was right. Doesn't sound very likely, does it? <laughs> World without sunshine. World without joy. Wait. I wonder if they are going to be a little sad when it changes back or they're going to be relieved and be like, that was weird. <laughs> is he regretting? Because he's like really letting her fight it. I think he is regretting what he did. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. I need the moment of realization. I it. Okay, yeah, See. they're like shocked that they <laughs> went along with it. It would be so funny if they were like, I kind of miss that Jonathan though. Alternate realities are neat. They are. I'll always remember the way he made me feel about me. Sort of tingly. And now I'm just empty. Okay, Xander. Xander's having a hard time. I still don't understand how oh, that man. And who really did star in The Matrix? Who <laughs> really did star in The really. Matrix? I think some people are kind of angry. Yeah, yeah. They would be. Why did you do it anyway? 
No. I know why. I get why. We get it. We get How? it. One of them had this spell. He, he glossed right over the monster. Well, anyway, I just... Okay. You get why everyone is angry, though, right? Yeah, that's it's fucked up. To, like, change everyone's world. It's like being the little actors in your sock puppet theater. Yeah. You weren't. You were friends. Jonathan, Not you really. can't keep trying to make everything work out with some big gesture all at once. Mm. Uh, about you and Riley, this cool thing I said, um, that I don't really remember, I think it's right. Yeah, I he... Think it's kind of the same thing you just said to me. Yeah, he was kind of making sense when they were talking about that, I will say. Oh, we're back. This is good. I'm glad we talked this all out. And they talked. Okay, good. We haven't talked at all. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Wait, do you think she did that on purpose just to mess with him? Or do you think it's like the after effects of your whole brain chemistry being changed from the spell? Probably that. That's funny. What a weird episode. That was a strange one. That was a strange one. Um, we did make progress though with the whole Buffy and Riley situation and the awkwardness that came with him sleeping with Faith in Buffy's body. So that's nice. They're it seems going to be okay and move on from here. Adam is still being Adam and the initiative has Colonel Sanders in charge of them now. So that's, I don't know if they're going to like just use him as a stock character just so that we know like someone's in charge. It's not just all these camel guys running around willy nilly, like someone's there or if he's actually going to become an important character and have anything to do with anything. But I think this was a really fun concept. As Anya said, alternate realities are neat. And also, Buffy is incredible as always, seeing through everything. I wonder if we're ever going to see Jonathan again. Honestly, you can count on this show to like randomly bring up characters from its past at any point, which I really like. It's, it's fun. Yeah, I don't know. This is a fun episode, but I don't have really much to say about it other than I enjoyed it. So I guess, hopefully, I will see you guys next time.